Ja, und da ist er endlich da, unser weltexklusiver Anspieltermin zu Arma 3. Und ich würde sagen, springen wir doch hier direkt rein. Das ist so eine Schieß, äh, hier so ein Schießstand, wo man in der Wüste auf Ziele schießen kann. Wie man sieht, eine sehr ernsthafte Militärsimulation. Da habe ich doch tatsächlich schon ein paar Punkte gemacht hier mit der AK-47 oder 74. Egal. Äh, nein, okay, Scherz beiseite, das ist gar nicht Arma 3, sondern Arma 2 Firing Range. Ein Spiel, das Bohemia für die Motorola Zoom, also für den Tablet-PC hier entwickelt, für Android-Tablets. Und äh, Arma 3 schauen wir uns doch jetzt mal an. Well, uh, my name is Ivan Buchta. I work uh, in Bohemia Interactive as creative director for Arma 3. Let's just fall into the game. There we go. We're falling. Uh, we are slowly falling uh, towards the surface of Limnos, which is a real Mediterranean island. Uh, we have even sent a bunch of artists to take the photos, take the videos, uh, and uh, Yeah. Uh, so that we can really model the terrain uh, according to the real life specification uh, to make it as authentic as possible. Uh, you may also check the volumetric clouds, which is one of our environment improvements. And there we go, we are closing to the ground just to take a look at the key aspect uh, of the game. Okay, uh, there we are. Um, Uh, next to the power plant on Limnos, and I'm just holding a rifle with a long range scope, which I'm gonna do. Wow, I didn't hit this guy. Well, I will not need this optics anymore, so I'm detaching it from the weapon, and instead I'm attaching close combat calimeter sight. Uh, I'm now gonna switch to another shooter to show you a little bit of uh, uh, ragdoll. Um, You can see the guy falling from the roof. There goes another one. And let's see it from close. We've set up some dummies to serve for the regular demonstration. There we go. Uh, you can also notice a nice particle effect. We have watched something like two hours of grenade explosions to get it right. And he just tossed another grenade on me. Uh, Well, let's move to another part of the demonstration. I was mentioning the vehicles. Arma 3 will be about the vehicles as well. Aircraft, boats, helicopters, uh, cars, tanks. Um, these all will get their proper simulation. Uh, first, let's check out the detail of the interior. It's amazing, right? All the gauges, all the stuff. They're almost as in a racing game. Unfortunately, I can't show you the picture in picture at the moment, but we are working on it. And now, uh, the first attempts uh, to implement the physics to our engine, it's not bad, although it's not entirely physically correct. We do work on it. You can also push the car. You may even try pushing a heavier object, like this, which takes some effort. Anyway, we have tanks for this. Uh, you, if you want to destroy stuff or push the heavy things, you can use the tank. Like this one. Yeah. Uh, besides the physics, um, uh, we are also trying to uh, Uh, improve the performance, increase the view distance, uh, just to show the environment we have. I don't know, light up the engines of um, uh, the Comanche helicopter, which fortunately um, was not cancelled in our universe, in the Armaverse, so we can now enjoy flying it over the, over the farmland on Limnos. You may check the villages in the distance. Uh, uh, their basic features uh, are, ma uh, are made and designed according to the real life. Uh, all, the, all the buildings are enterable and destructible, and uh, AI can cope quite well with them. We are now ascending towards the volumetric clouds. Yeah, check out, check out the high-res satellite texture and perhaps we can even expand some rockets.
we've been in the air, we've been on the ground, now let's go to the sea. Uh, as Linos is an island, we, we would like to take players through some naval missions. Um, so ships need to get some attention as well. There we are on a military speedboat, which was designed uh, or inspired by the existing military vessels, but it's fictional. You know, we, we are set in the near future, so we, we are often taking freedom to uh, make up our, our own things. It's fun. Uh, there we go, high detailed interior. We get a nice wake, almost real, and we've just boomed into a buoy. The floating objects also do have the physical simulation. Check out the nice rocks. Boom. We may also run over the ship down there. You may also check the dominance, the local landmarks. Uh, let, let's be easy on the guy. Just push him a little. All right, there we go. And of course, you may ask why are the divers aboard? Just for this, Arma 3. Uh, is adding a new dimension of combat. You can now move underwater, use the specialized equipment, uh, explore the sea bottom, perform secret infiltrations, sabotage mi missions, or just dive down to the bottom to uh, see some fish. There it is. or you can get intimidated by the mighty submarine. It's, it's just a prop, but uh, we are planning to add this, uh, uh, the submersible vehicles for delivering combat divers. And the detailed sea bottom is adding uh, some like more hundreds of square kilometers of terrain um, uh, to the ground. You know, you will just need the rebreather to explore it properly. Uh, big greetings from E3, from Los Angeles to uh, our German community. Guys, thank you for being so great and so creative for so many years. Also, thank you for coming to our booth. <laughs>